Hello everybody, uh, let's take a quick look at how to model or how you would approach to model uh, <coughs> a, uh, an object like a scor scorpion. So uh, it's a good, it's it's very important that for us to find uh, as much reference as possible. So here I kind of picked a few uh, images from the web. Uh, that help us understand what's actually happening you know how this structure is put together and we can do a very simple uh, model but even a simple model if it's modeled correctly with a proper base structure it uh, it may be enough but it also has a potential to, to grow and be more de developed into a much more uh, defined uh, structure so uh, it's a good idea to open it up in Photoshop and that's basically what I have here and uh, basically start playing with uh, and roughing in some of the subdivisions how are we actually going to be uh, modeling in Maya so um, let's go ahead and just quickly I mean this is pretty much straightforward uh, those are straightforward sections and we can really figure out how many of them we've got here but uh, let's see here we've got a shape like that so essentially we've got this st structure and uh, we're not gonna get too much into details like doing the eyes and everything uh, but just a rough idea and I'm just gonna do one side here we might even wanna put some um, center of symmetry this is what we have right now make sure that it fits in our capture screen and we can start quickly roughing in all the subdivisions that we're planning to create this seems to be where the head starts let's zoom in a little bit more so I mean we could even put a little bit more detail into that section and have our edges follow the contour here a little closer something like this and we can lead those lines right all the way in here and even loop them around this way definitely put a little bit more subdivisions that way it seems like we've got most of the details in and uh, luckily here we've, we actually have a um, and you know we can this is the beauty of uh, doing a sketch first before m before actually modeling because in some cases we might actually like to change our edge structure maybe actually leading this edge all the way into the back while only turning these two edges inwards and again depending on <laughs> on our on our decisions we can even substitute this edge here and actually continue on with an additional edge along the side because uh, looking at that looking at the references it looks like there is sort of a hard edge going along the side of uh, of the scorpions upper upper shell 
Okay, and uh, I think that's plenty for now. And uh, what we can do at this point, we can actually take a copy and see how actually this wireframe would work with our belly and make sure that we uh, are extruding and creating the legs from the right position. So uh, let me make a let me make a copy here and let's go ahead and rotate it. I mean it's good if we do have a reference like this it makes it very easy to uh, play with this otherwise we need to do our sketches Oop. let me make sure that I actually cut it there we go so I mean roughly it doesn't look like it fits very well but somewhat close close enough so uh, it looks like this is where our head is this is where it ends and it actually we see that our legs are somewhat extruded from the from the head part not even so much from from the belly they're all coming out from here and radiating out in these tubular sections um, so it's a good it's a good idea if we can take this wireframe and actually figure out how we're going to be creating these legs where are we going to be extruding them from so uh, it is uh, it is kind of obvious that uh, we might want to take this face and extrude it for this leg we can take this face extrude it for this leg um, take this face there, there, and this one, well, otherwise we're going to have to make some other decisions if we, if we want to get very, very creative here and uh, get as uh, as close to the reference I mean a couple of things that we can do is uh, maybe just simply here in the uh, on the in uh, in this in this view actually maybe add another loop like this and that will also create another section there we go so at this point we've got one two three and we might actually start switching further towards this towards this faces and have an extrude from here or here so one two three four and five I think that could work pretty pretty fine and if we do want to get more details actually have this thing modeled we do have an area that we could take and extrude uh, so with this with this idea uh, either next to our Maya screen or we can actually take this and uh, import it as an image plane into into straight into Maya and uh, model from that we've got a much better uh, much better w understanding of how we are gonna be modeling and it's probably also a good idea to uh, get in here and do a basic sketch of these um, uh, what are they called? <laughs> Luckily, I've got these now. Nah. Dorsals. Anyway, uh, these shapes. <laughs> so we can maybe first do an outline of what we see. And maybe then. try to solve that where we actually do have quads maybe something like this 
so it makes it so much more apparent of how to take a simple shape of how to take a ima even a complex shape and break it down into a uh, simple simple structure so I'm gonna pause here and we're gonna go into another video where I'm actually gonna be bringing